Hi everyone, I'm Jaehui. In this video, we'll be talking about top 25 Korean nouns. Okay, let's see what we have first. Cup, a thing or an object. So when you're doing some shopping, you like something that you like, that you don't like, then you can say, 저는 이것이 좋아요, but 저는 저것이 싫어요. I do like this, I do like that. Su, way, method, number. It has three different meaning, method, way, numbers. For example, 사람 수가 많이 있다. In the case, 수 means number. And if you're in a big trouble and you don't know what to do, you can also say 수가 없다. 나, I. So this is the informal way to say I as a pronoun. So you can say 나는 나야. <laughs> I myself. <laughs> 나는 김치가 좋아. 나는 한국이 좋아. 나는 한국 사람이 좋아. Can be a good examples. But when you talk with someone older than you, you cannot say 나. Instead, you have to say 저, which is formal version to say I. 사람, person. When you talk about a person, don't use God because God is for a thing. So you cannot say 이것이 좋아 when you talk about someone you love. Uh, instead, you can say 이 사람이 좋아. 사람 means person. 우리, we or our. It literally means our or we, but even if it's only about myself talking about my country, then I will say 우리나라 meaning our country. Even though you are not Korean, I'll just say our country, 우리나라, when talking about Korea. Even with your friend, you can say 우리 가족, literally meaning our family, even though you want to mean my family. The way to improve your Korean first is to use 우리 more often. 그, he, that. We usually don't use 그 or he, 그녀, she, when we make sentences because it doesn't sound natural to use a specific pronoun about the person. So when you hear 그, you can just think that it's about that, that person, 거, thing. This is a little bit casual way to say 것, which also means thing. 그거 주세요, 저거 주세요, 이거 싫어요, 저거 좋아요. When you talk with a friend, you just use 거, not 것. 년, ear. So when you talk about ear in Korean, you have to use this noun after numbers. For example, 2001년, the year of 2001. You cannot simply say 2001. So with the word, you can say, 저는 3년 전에 서울에 왔습니다, which means I came to Seoul three years ago. 한, one, or single. So when you want to talk about one something like one place, one person, you can use this word with the other noun. For example, 한 사람, one person, 한 곳, a place. 말, words. When you talk about Korean, you can say 한국어, um, but also you can say 한국말, which literally means Korean words. So when you want to say I learn Korean, you can say both 한국어를 공부합니다 and 한국말을 공부합니다. So, and there's another word meaning horse with the same pronunciation, so make sure you understand it correctly. 일, work. So when Korean people want to ask you what is your job or what do you do, um, they will say 무슨 일 하세요? So here, 일 was used to mean work. And also Korean people have a lot of work. Usually they work like more than 10 hours a day. They also have a lot of work to do. So in the case, I can say 저도 일이 많이 있어요. <laughs> 시, honorific suffix to mean Mr, Miss, Mrs. So let's say you want to call someone who is not your friend but whom you know their name. In that case, you can simply say their name and put 시, but make sure that you don't put family name there like you do in English. You have to put their first name. So my family name is E. So if you just call me Ishi using my family name and that honorific suffix, it sounds rude. So don't do that. You can just call me um, Jehui Shi using my first name instead of family name. We have another suffix, Nim, which is more formal than Shi. So you can use it when you call your teacher, like saying 선생님, 일, day, 
It has the same pronunciation of the word meaning work. Usually, you can use it when you read the date. For example, you can say 7월 2일 to mean July 2nd. Or you can also find this word in the word like 내일, meaning tomorrow, and say 내일 이 좋아요, which means tomorrow is good. 사회, society. Korean people talk a lot about politics, and in that case, we use 사회 a lot. So if someone is critical about the situation going around um, Korean society, he might say 한국 사회에는 문제가 많이 있다. Or someone would say 한국 사회는 살기 좋다. 그것, that thing. So it has two words that we learned earlier. 그, meaning that. 것, meaning thing. So for example, when you don't know how to read something in Korean, you can just say 그것 어떻게 읽어요? 집, house, home. So if you're in Korea, you might hear some phrases like 우리 집에 놀러 와. So 집 literally means house, home. So even though you want to say my home, make sure to use the pronoun 우리 and say 우리 집. 문제, problem. For example, like when you take a test and the questions are so difficult, you can say 문제가 너무 어려워. 저, that. You can use this pronoun when you talk about something away from you. So when you do shopping and the item you want to have is far away from you, then you can say 저거, 속, inside. So usually you can use it when you talk about something inside of something. For example, 가방 속에 뭐가 있어요? Meaning, what's inside your bag. And there's another word meaning inside, which is 안, to mean the same. 대, place. For formal situation, we use 곧, but for casual, like informal, we use 대. For example, 먹을 때, place to eat. 경우, case. To make you look more smart, you can use this word. For example, 이 경우, this case. 저 경우, that case. 중, center. So you can use this word when you want to say in the middle of something. For example, you can say 한국 음식 중에 뭐가 가장 좋아요? Uh, which literally means in the middle of Korean food. Which one do you like the most? So usually, it's used with a group of something. 자신, oneself. Unlike the English word oneself, like we usually use it when we give the advice. For example, 너 자신을 알라, which means you should know yourself. Usually, we also use this word to mean confidence and say 자신 있다. One, Korean one. In Korean, you have to say won every time when you talk about money. For example, 2만 won, 2천 원. So when you want to exchange US dollar to won, you can just simply say 달러를 원으로 바꿔주세요. 사랑, love. In Korea, we usually try to be a little bit indirect when talking about love. So we usually use the phrase something like 사랑하는 사람, which means people who I love. So with the one, um, you can say 사랑해, I love you, or 사랑합니다, I love you formally. Okay, that's all top 25 Korean nouns that we have in this video. Make sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time. 다음 시간 뵙겠습니다. 안녕히 계세요. <laughs>